guys. Um, today I'm going to show you how to take two-dimensional shapes like a square, a triangle, or a pentagon and turn them into three-dimensional forms such as a cube, which is obviously made from a square, um, a tetrahedron, which is made from a triangle, and a dodecahedron, which is made from a pentagon. So obviously all the sides of this dodecahedron are pentagons. All the sides of this tetrahedron are just triangles. And all the sides of this cube are squares. So I'm gonna show you how to construct these today. Um, and they're pretty fun to make, but they're also um, really commonly used in lots of different forms of art as well as different um, kinds of science architecture, um, decorating. So this is kind of a skill that crosses over into lots of different areas, which is kind of fun and exciting. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with a square, which we're gonna turn into a cube. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need uh, to get a square stencil, uh, just like the one I have here. Then you need six pieces of paper to cut that square stencil out from. Now, I actually already have six square pieces of paper ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is um, you're going to just start by taping two squares together. So you're going to line up their edge. And I'm just using masking tape. You can really use any kind of tape you want. Um, and you're just going to tape them so that they form a rectangle, um, so that one of their edges meet. Now you're going to um, test to make sure it's a little flexible, and then turn it sideways, and you're going to tape another square onto a different side of your original square, like so. And what you're going to do is you're going to work all the way around that middle square, adding um, another square to each side. So since the square has four sides, there should be four squares attached to that middle square. All right, now the next thing you're gonna do is you've got one more square and you're just gonna add it to one of these four squares that sticks out. So you're just gonna add on the other side and that's gonna kind of be the top of your cube. So now it's time to start uh, folding these up so that they make a cube. So you're just going to take two of those side squares and you're going to fold them so that they meet on one edge. And then you're just going to connect them on that edge with another piece of tape. I like to kind of um, put one hand on the inside, one hand on the outside to make sure that tape really sticks or kind of pinch the two edges together. And then you're just going to move over to the next square and you're going to fold it up and connect it to the square that's next to it. And you're just going to do this all the way around your cube with those four outer squares that you added around the center. Now once you're done taping on um, these four outer squares that go around the center, what you're going to have left is kind of like a box with a lid. And that's that last little square that we added on the outside. And so what you need to do is just flip that over and you're going to tape it down um, on all three loose sides. Alright, and what you have left is a cube. It's got six sides and all of them are square and exactly the same side size. And so that's um how you make cube, guys. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna make um is a three-dimensional form using a triangle. So to do this, you're actually going to need uh, four triangles. So you need to get four pieces of paper as well as a triangle stencil to trace and cut out. So go ahead and do that. So once you have your uh, four triangles, what you need to do is lay them out so that 
there are three outer triangles, each touching one edge of a center triangle. And then you're just gonna go ahead and tape those three triangles all onto uh, different sides of that central triangle. Then you're going to go ahead and fold each of those taped edges. Um, that center triangle is going to be your base, and then the other three triangles are going to come up and join each other like that. And uh, you just tape each of those three triangles together. What you have left is a tetrahedron, which is a three-dimensional form made completely out of triangles. All right, so the next one we're gonna make is called a dodecahedron. It's made with pentagons. Um, and so you're actually going to need 12 pentagons. So what you need is 12 pieces of paper. And to save a little time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace one pentagon onto a piece of paper. And then I'm going to take a second piece of paper and put it under the paper that I traced. And I'm just going to cut out two pentagons at a time. That way, rather than tracing and cutting out all 12 pentagons individually, you can um, just trace and cut out six and just cut through two layers of paper each time and you'll get 12. Uh, you really don't want to cut through more than two layers of paper because then the paper starts to kind of slip and slide around and you might not get all pentagons the same size. And it's really important that all 12 of your pentagons are exactly the same shape and size. So go ahead and do that. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with just six, and you're gonna kinda do this in two steps. So take your six, and you pick a central pentagon, uh, and you're gonna kind of line up those other five pentagons around that central pentagon. So uh, just like we did with the cube or the tetrahedron, uh, you're just connecting those five pentagons, one on each side of your central pentagon. So go ahead and tape all those on. All right, so what you should have now is this little kind of like flowery shape almost. And you're just gonna take each um, pair of pentagons that are next to each other and just fold them so that their edge meets. And then you're just gonna use a piece of tape to secure them. And you're just gonna do that all the way around. So you'll um, do that between each of the five pentagons. All right, so once you finish taping um, all of these five pentagons together, what you're gonna get is kind of like this little like bowl shape almost. Uh, and this is half of your dodecahedron. So you're gonna grab those other six pentagons and you're really just gonna repeat these same steps again. All right, now that you have those two halves of your dodecahedron, uh, you're gonna take them and you're gonna kind of put them together like you're putting together two halves of a plastic Easter egg. And they kind of just fit together as you can see. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go all the way around and you're gonna um, put a piece of tape on each uh, pair of edges that meet, that need to uh, stay together. So it's gonna take a lot of tape and it's gonna take a little bit of patience, but you just wanna do that all the way around. I uh, like to start with uh, a couple pieces of tape on two edges that are close together. So I can go ahead and tape both of those at once so it's kind of stable and holds together while I'm moving around the rest of it. That's it, now you have made a dodecahedron. All right guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed making your different three-dimensional forms. 
uh, I think that they're really cool. Now stay tuned for my next video, which will be about making three-dimensional prisms. So um, a prism is another three-dimensional form, but these are a little bit different in that the two end shapes are the same, but then their sides are all rectangles. So that's a little bit different from like our tetrahedron or our dodecahedron. Um, so another skill to add to your repertoire. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.